Hey there, hi there, hold there, people. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And guys, how, how are you guys doing today, tomorrow, yesterday, whatever you're watching this, how you guys are doing today? My name is Mr. Native. I haven't done an intro like that in a long time. I just realized I haven't really introduced myself in the last few videos. So, again, my name is Mr. Native. How you guys all doing? Last we left off, we did a lot of bonus boss fights and a bonus room that played a lot of different music believe in this area i was gonna look for the valkyrie ti uh, tiara but uh, i was like ah, i don't need it i'm pretty overpowered right now and it's just a little bonus i'll, I'll put a little bonus oh, i'm getting my foot on my stupid desk uh put them a little bit of bonuses when it comes to this game like i did with symphony night probably later but not now after i beat the game that's gonna be pretty much what i was gonna do later ow Last we left off, we did beat OD, and we did beat uh, Grimmery. And if there, if it seemed like I was kind of like an easy fight, I kind of acted well. Okay, so just kind of pause what I was trying to say in the earlier part of this game. When I first played this, I was under leveled like badly, and I always thought this area and everything was. Pretty, um, how would you call it? Like, pretty hard, but it's not, it, it actually is not. And you really do need this for this area. I thought it was one straight through, but yeah, makes things a lot easier, especially without the reflector ray. But yeah, I made this game a lot harder. Oh, wow, I don't want that. Capacity, because we don't use that. Another save point, which we're going to do right here. So, again, pretending that this game was a lot harder than it needed to be. But, again, I was... Oh, kept saying... I repeated myself, sorry. Yeah, under level. That's the reason why it was hard. But now that I have literally did everything, I'm pretty high level, so a lot of things are not going to be... I don't know why I need that. Oh. So even Grammary has failed me. Alfred was afraid of what you could do with the shards, but not I. Look at you. Is that what you wanted? The crystal? You betrayed us, Dominique. Oh, don't think me ungrateful. I have you and Johannes to thank for teaching me the alchemist lore and how to control the shards. Shards, I might add, which you gave to me of your own will. Your sacrifice has become my strength. Why are you doing this? Because once again, the demons appeared. And once again, God stayed silent. While his servants were slaughtered mercilessly, one by one. So I began to wonder, what if there is no God? What if the Lord we grovel and pray before is a lie, and our faith draws power from some other nameless, unspeakable thing? If so, I wash my hands of it. Because God can rot, I decided to seek a higher power, the power to slay gods. Do you realize how many people have died as a result? They deserve to die, because they were weak, and more will follow until I obtain all I desire. This whole mess wasn't enough for you? If the last summoning had been enough, I wouldn't have had to bring you here. You're after a more powerful demon. Sheeple's crystal wasn't enough to summon it, so you needed mine instead. Smart girl. I like that. But your crystal was too clean. 
too pure. So I made sure you would obtain shards and acclimate yourself to demonic power. Then Gremory could possess you after the battle with Jebel had worn you down. <sighs> if Zangetsu hadn't betrayed me... <sighs> Doing the right thing isn't a betrayal. You know what? I never expected to be put in a corner like this. You leave me no choice but to play my final card. I will use my crystal and the Libelo Gaieth to summon Bale, the ultimate demon! Do you realize what will happen to you? Do you? You don't. So I'll tell you. There's a reason Jeevil survived ten years ago. What does he have to do with this? It was in his blood. An exorcist, like me. Our blood suppressed the crystal corruption and effectively spared his life. And now I have surpassed him. I command the crystal through Enochian script. No demon is too powerful for me to summon, even if I cannot keep it here forever. But the process is slow, because I can see the summoning isn't complete. Do you really think you can stop me before then? Oh yes I do. You don't understand what power is for. You wield it stupidly, arrogantly, and now you will pay the price. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize I was fighting. Oh, no, I ow, ow, ow. Uh oh. Okay. That's it. No, Bale. Yeah, I, I, I forgot about this part. Yep, this is the ugly part. The demon Bale. Okay, as far as I know, you have to hit one of these heads. Oh, it's our head. What the heck? There you go. And that is it. That was ugly what it came out of fact. so much good but I know wait the Liber Logaiath <sighs> the book that started it all what are you going to do with it the same thing the master was trying to do before he died he inscribed Enochian letters onto each of the castle's structural weaknesses now I will use the book to perform a rite here at the heart of the castle 
The right will activate the Enochian script and send the castle and demons back from whence they came. So that's what Alfred was trying to accomplish. We need to begin. Stand back, Miriam. Jibo's fate was already sealed. There was nothing you could have done. And the Master and Zangetsu made their own choices. They fought gladly and proudly for what they believed in. Lives like theirs deserve to be celebrated. True. And demons still remain in this world. We can breathe later, after finishing the last of them off. That reminds me. The Master took note of how I was forestalling your corruption and suggested some improvements. I think I might be able to stop the crystal from overtaking you permanently. Really? I can't make any promises, but yes, I think. Well, thank you, Johannes. You're very welcome. Come on. Let's go home. All right. was Bloodstain, which was a knight, and of course at the ending there, just implies that Zen gets you still alive. Spoiler, I guess. Um, yeah, this was a long freaking journey, I'm not gonna lie. Started this back in October, was, I think I said this in an earlier video, I started it thinking that I would get done by Halloween, did not really, I guess, contemplate the idea that this game was going to be really long and it does play like an rpg like badly wait hold up am i supposed to oh that was going to be like a bayonetta and the credits you have to beat a boss um so yeah fun game honestly really cool great game game i can't talk honestly there was some new stuff on here that even I was a little thrown off by because the, um, I really, I could swear that new place, the tunnel, was from Child of Light, I want to say, because it didn't really feel like anything part of Bloodstain. Uh, as for bonuses, I, like I said, I was going to show a lot of the bonus secret bosses, but it was part of the game itself, so... That's the reason why I just decided to do it, like make a whole episode of that, or two episodes of that. But no, this, what can I say about this game that I really can't, I can't do it justice because honestly, doing Symphony at Night and going right to this just made me appreciate games like this. And I never really wanted to just strictly stick to a lot of like the 2D, HD 2D, or whatever they call them, uh, games, but this was a game that was on the back burner that I knew that there's more DLC coming out, more that 
um, they really wanted to finish. I didn't really know what run I was going to go for. Was it, you know, whether I was going to do a sword, whip, spear, uh, they call it kung fu, the other one calls it, you know, kicking. But I, I guess I ended up doing the great sword run. <laughs> And it does hit like a tank, and of course, you just seen how overpowered you can be with a two-handed sword, great swords. But no, this was really fun. This was a really, I, I was looking forward to this, and you know, I stalled there for a minute there, but coming back to it, it just made me really appreciate how much hard work and effort they put in this game. This is a four, five-year-old game, I believe. Five-year-old game, and it honestly, to this day, I mean, I'm always hoping that. They will just continue to do it. I know there's the uh, eight bit versions of Bloodstain that are out now. I might just get to those ones later, but not now. I really hope after they do all the DLC, finish up their. Uh, I think it was the. Um, oh, I can't remember what it was. What 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 when they got funded? They're still giving out people who funded this game because they're still doing their tier list, and I think this is the last of it. I th uh, it's Dominique Randomizer and I think there's one more they're doing and after that I'm not sure um, I'm not even sure how long these credits are but you know what whatever it's kind of nice to put down the controller and not worry about anything and I love this music by the way and I think the music Producer is the same woman who did Symphony of Night. Because it really reminds me of the library. And I love that library music in Symphony of the Night. But yeah, uh, yeah, so I just, I really hope they do a Bloodstain 2. Or call it, don't even call it 2, just straight up call it a different name. Because the castle's over with. I mean, Zankatsu's alive and Dominique technically is dead. Uh, I mean, you could do more with Dominique. Because I feel like. We should learn more about why Dominique became the way she did, because, uh, I mean, it is, of course, she explains it. You know, she doesn't like the fact that she was put aside, and I guess God didn't do anything, and, you know, she hates that. Kind of good way of, like, a reverse Dracula, if you look at it that way. <laughs> but, yeah, um, as for the game itself, I don't know. Like I said, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. 20 out of 10, 50 out of 10. I am going to keep going up and up and up. Game is fun. The game is extremely fun. I really recommend buying it. I don't know if the Switch got better. I know the Switch was really struggling, and I uh, last time I knew it was like not doing very great. Um, but as for updates or if it got patched, I'm not sure. But I really recommend this. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4. You can play it on PlayStation 5, 4. The Switch, PC, I believe this is on mobile, I think, and uh, Xbox, I think the Xbox, right, yeah, no, Igarashi, and I hope I'm saying, I think it is Iga, Igarashi, honestly putting him in here in this game was one of the few things things I forgot was on here. Again, more new stuff. A lot of new stuff on here that I wasn't... I didn't expect that I my first playthrough when I first played this on my own time, uh, I guess I just didn't appreciate it a lot more than I wanted to. And Now that I played it fully, I, I love this game. I really do. They put... You can tell they put their heart and soul into this game. And... Ugh. And I get little mistakes like that on my mic. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no, you can really tell that they put a lot of heart and soul into it. And I'm glad that this game turned out the way it did because I really wanted to fund this game. By the time I didn't have a job, but now that I do, kind of wish I can fund if they do another Bloodstain sequel and they need a, you know, funded. I would be the first one to fund the heck out of the game because. Yeah, this is just a beautiful game. And then they got freaking... Oh, my God, what was his name? I bet I already passed, but... Um, the guy who pretty much played Alucard 
and he played uh, OD, which was great. That was awesome. And uh, I remember, like I said, the music producer from Symphony Night came to this one. This game doesn't get enough recognition, and, and it, it really should. And I know it did when it first came out. But the fact that they're still giving updates to those that put a, put their, you know, funded this is honestly quite commendable. I'm not going to lie, it's really commendable that they're doing this. And... I don't know, like I said, I don't know what else to say about it. It's funny. Oh, that's right. This is this is a long, long Oh, son of a biscuit. Um I'm not gonna lie. I didn't realize I forgot how long this game or the credits are. Uh shoot. Well, again, took my take on it. Ten fifty out of ten, hundred out of ten game is amazing beautiful i recommend buying it you can literally buy it in any system at this point uh switch maybe hold off on i'm not sure i would do your research first if you want to do this on the switch because i'm not entirely sure if you can right now because uh i don't know if they patched it or not but i do recommend it on the playstation 4 playstation 5 xbox pc those are the ones i would probably say or you know if you have a steam deck you can download this too uh, the DLC, I believe, is 100% free. I think Ega and... I think that's it. And, okay, and to kind of clarify before I stop the credits, because it's a long credits, um, I keep bringing up the Child of Light. Now, I think I showed it earlier in my videos where you do have to pick up, put out the name on there, and you play as that the girl or the... The per I don't know. The girl. Can't finish the game. Now stop drinking so much. What? We shall become as gods. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Anyways. <laughs> what was I saying? That kind of distracted me. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The Child of Light. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you get to play as her. Like I said, I am going to play Zengetsu and her, um, the other character as a bonus. I don't know if I'm going to like complete it, complete it. It was quite an experience to be a backer on this game. Uh, now what's next? Yeah, seriously, now what's next? I really want to know what the next game is because honestly, great game. Uh, so yeah. Follow your passion and face your true self between dreams and reality, mind and matter. That's a good word. Good words to live by. I didn't see these. Was this always here in the beginning? I don't know. I have immortalized you in the credits of this game. Daddy, love you. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Ninja biscuits now. Ninja biscuits bursting through the ground. <laughs> Alright, these are kind of fun to read. So yeah, I would just do those on a bonus. Uh, anything else bonus-wise when it comes to this, like I did it with Symphony of Night, I'll do. But as for right now, I don't think I'm going to do it just yet. I'm going to kind of make that its own little video. Make this its own... Oh, jeez. Make this its own little thing right now. No comment. The sorrow that shackled inside of our souls requesting permission to regain control. I don't know. Can I skip these? Oh, it stops. Oh, geez. Okay, I guess I can. I would let it go, but I think this is like 30 minutes of credits. I think... I really think... Oh. I could have waited. It was only at the end. No, it wasn't. I lied. Yes, it was. I don't know. Maybe. I'm sorry. I love this music. Okay, never mind. Thank you for playing. I missed the old Chris where it says, Thank you for playing. Now go outside. <laughs> Is there anything at the end? Nope.
Oh, okay. It just kind of goes right to the end. Blood stain. Uh, before I go, do I have a hundred percent? Because I know the end game uh, shard that you get from Grimmery opens up a plethora of different things you can go to. Nope, 99.6. So yeah, you get Aurora. That's her name. So yeah, that's my first playthrough. 73. Oh wow, still level. Oh wow, okay. So 100%. I already did 100%, so yeah, I didn't really have anything to prove on that point. My money is a little low. Didn't see that coming. So these two I will show off in a later time, probably. Uh, as for other stuff, like I said, got bush, bush, boss rush mode, speed run mode. Ran, oh, they do have randomizer. Never mind, I was wrong. Uh, boss revenge mode. I don't know what that is. And then classic mode. I will show these off too later, but not now. Ah, oh, just the music and all that. Great. This reminds me of uh, So Caliber Three? No, two. Dumb, but cool. Duke Chang of Payson, eh? Not a humpang, not a humpang. So is this David Check Hader? Check out L1 Games on YouTube. Muzz rocks. <laughs> what? May the light of lamp illuminate your way. Hello to my wife Maria from Dusty. I love you. And please oh. check out the Arc Flash Gaming channel on YouTube. What a horrible <laughs> night to have a box. Er, uh, curse. I meant curse. What a horrible night haters gonna hate. Nice. Hello. JS can't answer right now. Please, leave a message. Even upon my defeat, the power of the Dark Victrosian will one day awaken to be your demise. There's something wow. written here about a woman named Castile Vanya. Who could she be? Daichi loves his wild rose. Well, <laughs> congratulations. You've got yourself caught. Now, Robert Belgrade. The next step of your master plan. Sorry. Robert Belgrade, I think that's his name. I think that's his name, I think. Unless I'm completely butchering Turned it. Turned down for what? To Leah and Skyly, wishing you all the best. Do not look at me in that tone of voice. Wow. Oh, hi, Cubby. Your human Steve loves you very much and has nyum nyums for you. <laughs> oh, nyum nyum. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop right there. Uh, yeah, so that is Bloodstain. I'll leave it right here. All right. That was a fun ride. I had a lot of fun. <clears throat> oh, geez. My voice is going out. Better stop now. So, that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this beautiful playthrough of Bloodstained Ritual of Night. I will see you guys in the next video whenever. I got to... This was, this was fun. This was really fun. I had a lot of great times, great moments, and I hope you guys enjoyed too. So, please... I, just please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video so until then see ya